So I want to talk to all the adults out there, especially our parents, and I want to ask you a question. Are you prioritizing your own personal fitness? Um, a lot of you may have tried exercising in the past. You may have tried a workout routine. You weren't meeting your goals, so you probably quit after a few weeks or a few months. And what I'm here to tell you today is that you probably had the wrong goal, and that's why you didn't succeed. Uh, and I'm going to tell you something a lot of people in the fitness industry don't want to say, and that is that weight loss is not a fitness goal, okay? Full stop. It just isn't. You need to start prioritizing fitness for your health, okay? And what I mean by that is if by exercising, you're going to start to see improvements in your cardiovascular system, pulmonary systems. You're going to see, um, you're going to have reduced uh, risk of diseases like cancer, even Parkinson's and dementia, these things. The, the health benefits of exercise cannot be understated. And this is regardless of whether or not you lose any weight, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're, when you're starting up a routine. Fitness goals need to be just that, fitness goals. Find something physical that you struggle to do, that you can't do, okay? It could be as simple as like, I get winded walking around the block. Well, I, if you start walking around that block three or four times a week, I can almost guarantee within about three weeks, you're going to have no problem doing that. And you're probably going to be trying to do two laps around the block uh, before you get winded, okay? Those are fitness goals, okay? And your fitness will improve rather quickly you know if you measure if you if you're measuring your 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 physical ability rather than uh your body image okay whether it's trying to lose weight or trying to put muscle on or or anything like this so what i'm saying is set goals that are realistic um and start working towards them set a small goal once you make that once you reach that goal set another one and 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 try and reach that and then you will find that it's going to be a lot easier to stick to your routine because you're actually going to have goals that you're going to be reaching all the time. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, what's the best exercise I can do? And I'm a little biased. I'm going to say that you should be doing karate. Now, of course, karate is great cardiovascular uh, and uh, aerobic anaerobic workout. It's, it's fantastic. And that's what I'm going to say. But the truth of the matter is do whatever it is that you're going to do and you're going to stick with. Um, you guys all know we have a gym at the dojo. As a parent, you're, you can buy a membership for $15 a month. And while your kid's in class, it's really convenient. That said, we also have parents who just walk around the building while their kids are in class. Even something like that is going to help you out. So whatever you want to do, whatever you're going to do for exercise, all I'm asking is that you please do it. All right. Thanks so much. And let us know if you need any help.